Uh, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, there it is. There it is. Sorry for the jump scare. Welcome, everybody. We're gonna play Homer Simpson in Russia today. There it is. <laughs> I, I meant to hide that and lead into it. There it is. <laughs> Sorry if that's a bit much. I can censor it. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna play Homer Simpson <laughs> in Russia today. Uh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even speak. Uh, hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> what do you? Uh, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> hello. Uh, welcome to the stream, one and all. <laughs> Happy 4th of July to those who celebrate. Uh, we will be celebrating here in this little corner of the internet by playing Homer Simpson in Russia for the ZX Spectrum, the ZX Spectrum. <laughs> because I love the Simpsons. I love the Specky. I love games. Uh... <laughs> And so we got to play this one. <laughs> Let me cover that up. That's a lot. That's a lot. Let me say hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> this should be a good time. I'm excited for this. Uh, Bifraction. Hello. Dracados. Hello. Alonare. Hello. Azora Justin. Hello. <laughs> Doppelopolis. Hello. Schubert. Hello. Tefla. Hello. Almatia. Hello. Duck Admirer. Hello. Kreelosh. Hello. Parstil. Hello. Uh, Rubber Kitty. Hello. <laughs> Tango Bunny, hello. Scratching Way, hello. Left Empty, hello. Uh, Al Pennington. Killer Miller, hello. Shaboy J, welcome. Hope you're doing well, hello. Dieter Lavos, hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I was thinking last night, man, we got to play some 4th of July games. We got to play some American, homegrown, blue-blooded, whatever, patriotic American games. And I could only think to myself, why don't we just play Homer Simpson in Russia instead? <laughs> so here we are. That's the extent of my thought process behind this. We got to play Homer Simpson in Russia. It looks so good. <laughs> just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> oh my god, yo, Chubo, Chubo, thank you for the 51 month resub. I strangulate you, comrade Bartsky. Now I go work in glorious nuclear plant and eat donuts. Same, 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 same. Uh, this is a fan game, obviously. This is not an officially licensed uh, The Simpsons product. Please don't tell Matt Groening about this. He might get very angry. He probably wouldn't care. Uh, this was a homebrew, fan-made Spectrum game. <laughs> I don't know if it's a fan game of The Simpsons, really. I don't think it could technically be considered a fan game. We're playing as Homer Simpson in Russia. I think it's kind of... Uh, I think it's more of a just, I don't know. I haven't played it yet. There's an Amiga version. There's an Amiga remake of this as well, which I couldn't get running. I tried for like a grand total of at least five minutes and it just, I couldn't get it running yesterday. So we're going to play the Spectrum one. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the Amiga one is in English. This will be in Russian. We're going to be in Russian today. Russian gaming. Which means I'll be using my telephone here to machine translate the Russian text and hopefully stumble our way through this. <laughs> oh, get, get, sorry for the epilepsy. Now let me we'll cover that up for a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, this is all in Russian, all the text. Well, some of it's in English, but I think we can figure it out. I think we can have a. I think it's perfectly playable. It's just. It's just text. It's just words. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, hello, Awkward Aardvark. Hello, Vino79. Dizzy's coming soon. 
Dizzy's coming back soon. It's coming back real soon. Maybe even next week. Maybe even this weekend. Soon. We're going to play more Dizzy soon. I, I have a craving. A fiending. Uh, syllogism welcome. Rub 890 welcome. Okay, I may need to... <laughs> I'll let you know, Rob. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Homer Simpson in Russia. I, there's nothing really else to say. Like, it's... This is it. <laughs> there's no box. This didn't have an official box release. I don't think this sold for money, period. I think it's just some people having fun, making games on their computer. And we got this. I don't have a manual to read. We just have a game. I don't... <laughs> the wait key. Just run. Kempston Sinclair. Sound effects. About MG. Let's let's just get into it. Um, hello, everybody. We're just going to get into it. Let's waste no time. I don't want to see any Mario tapping his toes emotes. Because... We're just going to play the game. Game. Homer Simpson Rush, released 1998. Uh, what am I doing? How do I do this? How do I do this? No! Blue blacking! Ah! I thought I was going quick enough. There we go. Shield your eyes. I have to set it to the Scorpion ZS256 machine type. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> in order to run the game. I think it must be like some Russian clone hardware, I would presume, but I don't know, I didn't do my research. We got some hot jams. Hardware test. Is that audible? Go they have. That now. The starting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems really quiet. It's really quiet. If I turn it up too loud, though, it might blow out the eardrums. Let's. I'll press the any key. There it is. I love video games. Options here at the menu before we just start playing the game. We can just run the game. We can redefine our keys. Sinclair comes in. We'll be using keyboard controls via Joy to Key. It's my preferred method of playing Spectrum games. Uh, let's let's read about MG first. File name Homer.doc. Total lines 269. Readed lines 0021. Dude, look at this. It's a work of art. It's 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 perfect. It's impeccable. They did it. They did it. No sobj, no game, no beer, no enjoy, no jokes, no glukes. Homer Simpson at Russia. Copyright 1998, Mr. Gluk and Company. Words to live by. <laughs> Oh, 
so I should, I, I guess I should say I don't know Russian, I don't read Russian, I don't speak, I don't understand Russian slang. So if I accidentally, if there's some slang in here that may be offensive, I apologize. I am fully ignorant of what I'm reading. <laughs> Original personages of this game is property XX Fox Television, all rights reserved. We use logotype Homer without con con conkins of this company. There he is. I'm I'm a little offended too. But that's okay. No subge, no game, no beer, no enjoy, no jokes, no glukes. Okay. Game coded Mr. Gluke. Intro coded Vlad. Game graphics Shim Mao. How do you read this? Other code Vlad. Final cut coded Vlad. Game soundtrack, other soundtracks, other graphics, special consultant. The Cue Master was the special consultant. Sound effects and speech, beta testers, moral support. Special thanks, Tim Kelly, Eugene Malkov. Uh, here's all the hardware they used to make this game. Pentagon 512 plus CMOS plus Kempston Mouse 2x5 and a quarter, 3 and a half plus Gluk Reset Service 5.1. What does that mean? Sprinter? 3 and a half plus 5 and a half HDD 100M plus AT plus CD Smiley Face plus Gluk Reset Service version 5.2? What? None of those mean anything. What's a Pentagon? It's a, it's a five-sided shape. How do you program on a shape? Dead Pentagon 256. Vlad, why is your Pentagon dead? The Q Master had an Amiga A1200. Maybe it's a Pew-ta-gal. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Used soft. Our coordinates. Oh. If you want to track the people down, go to FidoNet. There's there's some numbers you can use. Greenpeace warning. Oh, they're getting political. What what does this even say? Can my phone even translate this? I guess we should find out now if I'll even be able to translate this text. No animals were harmed during the creation of the game. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Note. My cat disappeared at work, but that doesn't count. What? <laughs> uh, this is this is gibberish. Machine Translate is gibberish. Only words. Without waiting for the release of at least one of the announced big duts from digital reality, I had to prove that they are coon and made out it, I lost it I had to prove that they suck and made themselves famous with a couple demo versions and in light since recently the discussion of this shadow has been come prohibited here I'll have a break as long as it's enough upvotes of course someone may shout there is no IGRB you don't eat anything advertising but still one of the mitigators of guilt what oh wall of text what the discussion oh my god google the discussion of this game began in the summer of 97 when we, <clears throat> sitting on the now legendary bench on the embankment of a river, were going to write something. At that time, I was not going to take part in any of the work except for consulting. Somewhere around October, Dean sketched out a map editor, which, by the way, was never useful. Uh, around January, when I was sent for a walk without a salary, uh, SNY and Vlad started creating a cool game. In about a week, all the calculations were made, and the work began. I started making the game itself. Vlad started working on the map editor. 
By the way, the latest edition's quite good. And Dina started drawing the sprites. Then when the algorithm was more or less sketched out, they began to distill sounds and graphics from the Amiga. A special was written. Converter. A special converter was written for sounds and graphic images from unknown files with unknown content. Smiley face. Dina bought a pissy UK Cecily 286, you can call it that, and the project froze for a while, then a fan top, buying a sprinter, problems with the army, etc. That is, in reality everything stood still for four months, however Vlad and I had enough strength for the final push. This is how it turned out that it's now eating up the clock cycles of your processor and little by little suffocating the disc. Got it? Okay. That's the history. Uh, here's all the different... <laughs> here's all the different options explained. Uh, keyboard, Kempston, Sinclair, Redefine. You can redefine all your keys, say for E and M. Just Run starts the game. Sound effects, About MG, what we're reading now. The Wait key. Let's see what the Wait key does. They may throw pancakes at me, but one of my favorite things is a useless function. It does absolutely nothing. You can, with the consciousness of your own importance, try to turn it on. Smiley face. The wait key does nothing. Uh, <laughs> with best regards, Mr. Gluke. Uh, M controls the music. E exits the game. And there, we, there you have it. The wait key doesn't do anything. I'm trying to wait. The wait key doesn't work. <laughs> oh, well, let's play the game. Let's let's play Homer Simpson in Russia. How bad could it possibly be? Just run. Let's check it out. Let's go. loading it can't possibly be the worst simpsons game it cannot pop here we are let me turn this up a little we gotta rock out this is kind of catchy So here we are, Homer Simpson. We're in Russia. Uh, I don't really know what the UI says. I haven't played this at all. The most I did was I got this. I got to this point last night. I was like, okay, it works, good enough. Uh, so in the top right it says, I see nothing. I'm standing on nothing. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, an adventure game, an inventory object adventure game. We have 0% of something. We're carrying gum, nothing, and nothing. And what's that at the bottom? Return. We're carrying gum, and we have nothing and nothing in our inventory. Uh, the bottom left? What's that say? Porch. Oh, oh! I see a door! Okay, I see a, a mill. I see a tree. What's that say? I 
see a wall. There's a door. Okay, so if I press the button, then what the heck just happened down there? Sorry, I just need to get a sense for how this, this screen works. Is not so simple. Okay, so I pressed the button to activate my inventory. And now I have three inventory slots and I can use items on things. Or I can return back to the game. And I start the game with gum, nothing, and nothing. So what's he saying down there? He's like giving responses as I try using this gum on the nothing. Hey, are there bugs here? It's not so simple. So let's let's start let's start exploring. No idea what our goal is. The readme.doc, homer.doc did not explain anything about the game. <laughs> Why we're in Russia. What we're doing. What are these messages down here? <laughs> this music's pretty nice. <laughs> MTI, welcome. This game's got a lot of colors. I don't know how to pick things up. Whoa, is that somebody over there? Is that a frog? So this will be a pretty slow playthrough here because, again, I can't read any of this. Angry Grandfather Pensioner. Boy, what a thing is here. Okay, that's an Angry Grandfather Pensioner standing on this lake here. I guess. What? Oh, I'm on the road. Can we go in the sewer? Let's go up here. I can't go up there. <laughs> what? What just happened? Why did the font change? The pencil was broken. The bridge is broken by nose. No, that's not wrong. A pencil tool. It's not picking your nose. Huh? Okay, the bridge is broken. This game has a very large world map here. Oh, there's something up there. I can't, I can't cross. <laughs> Homer face. I wonder if the zero percent is our health bar. If we have zero percent health or taken zero percent damage. Okay, yeah. I can see something up there. I think that says I can see a key. I see a frog. No, that's frog. This is a hot jam. They went hard. Holy smokes. this I'm in a house are there any <gasps> key 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 let me try and get this key how do I how do I 
Key. <gasps> Key. <laughs> hey, mighty C7. Damn, damn it, Bane's welcome. In bad place, welcome. Marigold, welcome. I just got a key. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's a toilet. <gasps> Man. <laughs> There's dialogue. Oh my god, the dialogue is going. They're talking to each other. What what were they saying? Show me your documents. You need your pension? Show me your documents. What? <laughs> Try again. Who are you? A pensioner. What do you need? Pension. Show me the documents. Okay. <laughs> Is that like a chicken? Is that a turkey on a plate? With a little fork next to it? What's- that's a telephone, there's a computer. Is this a refrigerator down here? I don't know what this bit is up here. Oh, that's the way into the toilet. And there's the shower, I guess. These might be water pipes? Let's see if we can get around to that back door. Okay, can I use the key here? <gasps> Gaming. Can I use the toilet here? What's he saying? No. You can't just do it. I can't- you can't just use the toilet. Wash hands? What? I want pea porridge with milk. Boy, what the thing is here. What? Let's get out of here. No idea, Par. Still, have no idea what our goal is, what the the quest that we're on is, why we're playing Homer Simpson in Russia. Well, I know that part, but I have. We do we have no context, no story. We're just here. We're dropped into this world, fighting for our life, trying to survive. It seems like this game's pretty big. Frog. I might be soft locked because I might have used my key in the wrong spot. And there's these bridges here, but I can't use them. What's that say? I want pea porridge with Kolok. <laughs> what? That much that just must be a standard response. If I investigate something that's not important or relevant, he just says, I want pea porridge. this they're talking <clears throat> I 
I missed all of that. Okay, there's somebody down here. The phone is struggling to pick it up. We want you want to exchange. You can give us a key. Is there a pause button? I don't actually know. There's a pause button. The pause button pauses the game. Okay, let's... Thank you. Good call, Tango. Pa I skipped text! Okay, try again. We can pause the emulator by pressing pause. Hey, is anyone here? Let me eat. But in exchange, I can give you a key. You don't have anything, you bastard. <laughs> what? Um, gum? He doesn't want the gum. So we either need to give him something to eat in exchange for a key, or vice versa. We give him a key in exchange for something to eat. Let's go back down. Oh, we made it here! Pensioner! Get ready. Pause. Aha! Do you want some moonshine? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course. Tell us the recipe. I recognize you. I told you in 1947. I gave you some pancakes so you could paint so you could paint my fence. <laughs> Disgusting. Give me the pancakes. Kiss my yellow ass. Huh? Ah, oh, he doesn't talk to us anymore. We pissed him off. Okay. I may need to map this game. <laughs> I feel like it would be really simple to do so. But like... I may need to make a map of this, because this is seemingly kind of large, and like you can't transition from screen to screen unless the, the path is clear. I need something sharp so I can cut it off. Okay, if I have something sharp, then I can cut the flowers here.
<laughs> key! Okay, we've got a key. Oh, man. I think I'm screwed. Can I use the key? Three T.O.? I can't use the key in this door. Okay. This is a jam. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, by the way. Uh, again, I'm just wandering around Russia as Homer Simpson. Hey, we can cross that bridge. Interesting. What an interesting route I just took there. Can I go across this one? Nice! Oh! Okay, what's this room? So there's like individual room descriptions that are popping up on the bottom of the screen. Every time I enter a new screen... There's no entrance to the fecal station. Okay, this is the fecal station. Can I use my key? Oh, I'm in! Must be like a wastewater treatment plant, I suppose. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. You love to see him. Ooh! Oh, there's something over there in the shower. Corridors of the fecal station. There's compensation capacity. I don't understand what that means. I see a table. Pick it up. Sixty-four slices of American cheese with three E's. <laughs> what? Let's, I bet I can give this cheese to the man in the the thing. Mmm, 64 slices of American cheese. There's keys everywhere! And this map is huge! Oh wait! Did we... Did we go around the world? Is this wrapping? No, I don't think it is. Is this wrapping? Hey, <laughs> migraine, welcome. Uh, if I map this, which I probably will, I'm not going to do a graph paper map. I'm going to just take screenshots of the individual rooms and then just paste them together in Microsoft Paint. I can't go down. Like, there's so many keys! The key is in like 10 parts.
And there's probably clues put into the descriptions of the rooms down at the bottom, but I'm not bothering to translate. I feel like we're definitely at the... S <laughs> cool. Glitch is forever. Someone is still in the... the Livnevka who walked in circles. I... I don't understand. Google Translate. Just jokes and explanations, okay. I kinda got the feeling that was the case, but thank you for, for confirming. I'm not going to wander around for too long. Uh, I just, I'm, again, I'm just trying to get a sense of what the game is like, the structure of this world, before I actively try and, like, figure out how to play. This feels like, to me, a game where a map will be necessary. Da -da -da. Like, I can't set items down once I pick them up, either, it looks like. I can only use them to get rid of them. So it seems like we may need to pick up the correct items in the correct sequence. Or maybe you can just always use the items that you have. This is a huge map! Okay, we're at the side. So let's count here. Let's do some counting together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 screens across. So if it's also 16 screens high, that gives us 256 rooms with which to explore. That's a big game. That's a big game. It might not be 16 up. We'll see if I can count that direction. So this is the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope, this is this is ten. 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're back at the start. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen by sixteen. Oh god. It's a mega, it's mega game. 256 rooms. All right, you can work with that. Sir, 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 sir. I have cheese. He doesn't want the cheese. Mm -hmm. 
there's the pensioner. I want to try and use my key on the building we started next to, which is right here. This is where we start the game. Oh! I'm in. emojis everywhere. We're in the bedroom. This is a television. The TV doesn't work. This is a television. But it doesn't... That's a... What? It up in bed? Oh, something happened on the table? Whoa! <laughs> sausage! We got a giant sausage. The cabinet is locked. There's nothing to open. Oh, dude, I'm missing so much because I'm not translating everything. <laughs> so the cabinet in our bedroom is locked. This guy right here. The TV doesn't work. I don't see how that's a... <laughs> Maybe? I don't see the TV. I, I, I cannot parse a television out of that. Let's try and get the sausage to the sewer man. How do I go up, up? I want to go up, 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 up. Maybe we are making a sandwich. We got sausage, we got cheese, we have chewing gum. Oh! The wrench! 5%! Seventeen by nine. Maybe we need pancakes for the pensioner. Let's go fix the TV. <laughs> a warning to all. Do not try to fix a CRT television with a wrench. Ah, it doesn't work. So, like, the blue bit... Okay, yeah, that's the screen. This is, like, the back of the monitor? I just don't see what the big red blob here is meant to depict. The wooden enclosure, the backs, the plastic cover? Oops. There's like a plug there into the wall. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh! There's another room here! Can we melt the cheese? Can I get rid of this gum? So, 
It's interesting how we can see the water pipes everywhere. So there was an item to pick up there, but I couldn't. My inventory is full, and I don't think I can just drop items on the ground. See, this is what I was worried about. I can't just drop things. Or on the porch. What is this? There's something there, but nothing to grab it with. Come on, come on. It's a well. Oh, it's a top, t it's a well, okay. So how long should we play this without drawing a map? I feel like it's useless. I feel like it's hope- <clears throat> I feel like it's hopeless to try and play this without mapping it. Oh, what's this? There's a water leak in this person's house. I don't have a key. There's something on his desk here and another television. And like the pipes burst? Something there. <laughs> we can go around the house. What's that? Yeah, empty your pockets, you greedy guy. A thing is here. A frying pan! There's a fry pan in the backyard, but I don't have space to carry it. <laughs> Disaster! quite awkward trying to move about these screens because you can't transition from one screen to the next unless the, the way is clear on the next screen but you can't always tell so you just have to like try and walk off the screen at every different tile interval which is another reason why I'm, I think we're going to start making a map soon This is massive! So what are our quests? <laughs> A little outhouse here. There might be something in that toilet. Key! I can't carry the key! <laughs> there might be okay we're gonna reset i'm gonna reset i didn't even look at the key binds to see shield your eyes okay 30 minutes of wandering uh let's take the game let's start playing the game now homer simpson in russia boop, 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 boop.
shoutouts to Mr. Gluk and Blod. Where's the any key? No time for that now. The computer's starting. <laughs> so they have to do the strobing effect here just because of hardware limitations. They can't display the total number of colors on screen at the same time. So it's rapidly alternating between two separate images with different colors to make the appearance of Homer. It's quite, it's quite fun. Uh, if I redefine the keys... Okay, if I redefine the keys... Left, right, up, down, button. It's literally just left, right, up, down, and a single, single button. That's it. Oh, almost guaranteed, Shaboy J, that it, it's not an emulation thing. This is this, this is how they did it. Uh, okay, let's go. I think it was worth it. I think it's beautiful. You gotta make do with what you have. Okay, we're back at the start. I don't think there's saving and loading or anything like that in this. It's just one quest that we have to solve. Um. It's a giant world, 16 by 16. We start roughly in the top right. Start grabbing screen captures. I got 256 screen captures to grab. Let me think, how do I want to do this? Um... <laughs> One moment here. Okay, um, for starters we should try and move our way into one of the edges so I can start mapping it that way. Ah, uh, I can just... Okay, this is straight up. Dude, this is, this is gonna be a long process. We've got four screens now. Uh, only 252 more to go.
Can I keep going right? I can, okay. I like this music a lot. This is pretty catchy. God. I don't know how invested I want to be in making my own map. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's a key up there. It seems to me like the game world is two or is 16 screens across by 16 screens vertical. Which is a lot of screens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm almost. Okay, that's number ten. Got ten screens down. It just keeps going in this direction. I didn't make my image big enough. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh... The edge of the world. I think this is the edge of the world here. Nope, it's definitely not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> hey, calm, son. Welcome. It kind of seems like a top-down dizzy style adventure game. At the very least, it's a, it's a top-down adventure game. With bunches of inventory items to find and collect and use and so on. Uh, the one of the difficult things so far is that it seems like you can only carry three different items at a time, but there's no way to drop items that I've found after picking them up. Because if you collect three items that you don't have any way to use, <laughs> then you're just kind of stuck. It's possible that they took that into account when designing the game, and that there's no way to actually get yourself stuck. There's all meaning there's always going to be a way to get rid of an item, but. Not necessarily. It's also likely that there's invisible items. Okay, I think we finally made it to the edge of the world. So if you guys want to see what I'm doing, it's it's nothing too complicated. Um... Never mind like the the artifacting. I created a 20,000 by 20,000 pixel image, excuse me, in paint.net. I'm just copy pasting. 
each individual room like this. So we start here. There's the pensioner on the island. And I just walked up to this road and walked over and over and over and over and over and over and down and over and the road seems to have ended right here. Now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! We are 1 16th of the way through creating a map of the game. But at the same time, yeah, a lot of these rooms just seem like they're completely empty. So I can't go to the right from here. Yeah, I can't go to the right from here. So that confirms this is the, the easternmost edge of the world. having a map will <laughs> make the game any more playable. The language barrier may be insurmountable. Although it doesn't seem like that's really going to be the case, but it might. This is just a big nothingness field. Could be a super secret mega salami pre made sandwich out here in this field of nothing. Maybe a beer. So this is probably an inaccessible area here. Oh, sure for am welcome. Thank you for the 18 month resub. Thank you. Uh, we're playing Homer Simpson in Russia today. This is a... Well... This is a real video game. <laughs> this is a Russian-developed... Spectrum game. It seems like it's essentially just a giant mega maze with inventory items. I'm in the process of constructing a map of the game world right now. This won't take too long. And realistically, if I'm interested in actually finishing this game, playing it all the way through, uh, this is just what has to be done, I feel like. And I'd save, I'm gonna save myself a lot of time here in the long run by building a map now before just spending two hours wandering aimlessly. 
or I could instead spend those couple hours just building a big map. It just simply must be done. And you know, I get a sense of enjoyment out of building maps. It's the simple pleasures in life, really. Cartography is one of them. <laughs> There's just nothing! That's fine. It's fine if there's nothing. What if there's something, though? It's better not to search here. <laughs> That's what the text says. <laughs> okay. It's better not to look here. Uh, yeah, but no, I'll show you again. So I have paint.net open. I create a giant blank 20,000 by 20,000 pixel uh, image here. And I am just quickly s uh, taking screenshots of the individual screens and just kind of stitching them together. So we've got a, a fair amount here already put together. This will go pretty quick. This will go pretty quick. Uh, we start the game right here, but we have no goal given to us, uh, nothing at all. I have no idea what we're trying to do, but we're in Russia, as Homer. I'm currently in this room right here. all this empty space out of the way is going to be nice. So now I can know moving forward we don't need to bother with it. this giant empty field of nothing. So it's it's a large game world but a sizable portion of it is completely empty. Unless there's a secret item over here. <laughs> That'd be cruel, though. That would be simply be cruel. That was kind of my thought, Solo. The, the 16 by 16 map reminds me of under Saber Wolf. Saber Wolf had the same size map. I don't remember the size of Underworld's map, but I never finished mapping that game. <laughs> Night Orc! Night Orc had tons of empty space. That was awesome. God, I love Night Orc. That game is so good. Night Orc, they filled the map with tons of empty space to kind of simulate a realistic environment. Because in the real world, not everywhere you go has significance. There's lots of just empty scenery in the real world. So when making the game, it only makes sense to put a lot of empty screens in, right? Because <laughs> you're trying to model a realistic world. So 
sometimes he says something different in these rooms. They're probably just jokes, but... Walk past yourself. Okay. It's probably like jokes or idioms that are completely lost in machine translation. It's not a bad idea, Dom. I don't know how to visually depict that in a succinct image. Dude, are they- it's not even noon. And fireworks are going off. Did you guys hear that? It's not even noon. It's America. <laughs> that was a firework. It's not even noon. Can't go there. Well, the giant field has now been mapped out. All right, that's a large chunk of, of land mass. Let's get out of here. can't see them, no. It doesn't matter. It's not about the sights. It's about making big noise and things go boom. Okay, where am I? Up from this screen. Okay, let's continue mapping. that say? It should be like a description of the building down there. The post office. Okay. We were on the trail to the post office. Now we're here. The trouble starts. Okay, this is the post office and here's where the trouble starts. this say? The operating room. Let's go map out the post office. Service room. Okay. Oh, they're being cheeky. Oh my goodness, this video game. You know what they're doing? You see this door here on the left side of the screen? I bet you can open that door, but it's right on the edge of the screen, so you have to be standing on this tile here, looking to the right, and use a key to open a door on the next screen. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> and then you can get back here to this guy. 
Maybe. That might be how it works. I don't actually know yet. What's that say down there? The unnamed cashier. Okay, there's the post office. Uh, this is the easternmost edge of the world map. Oh, it's coming together. Okay, I'm not going to pick up any items or do anything of that nature. We're just going to fully dedicate to exploring and mapping. Can I go up at all from here? Is this the top? I think this is the top. I think we've reached the top. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so the post office is in the top right corner of the world, it looks like. Yeah, let's go left here. Another benefit to using the map is not only can we now know um, which rooms we've been to, but also if there's like key sections of the game world that are locked away, I will be able to tell a lot more easily and have objectives to, to strive towards. Knowing that there's like negative space on the map is an objective in and of itself. And when the game is as directionless as this one seems to be, that's important. For example, I don't know how to get up to this key yet. So let's head left, go left. I can't cross this bridge. Like, what does he say? I see most complex. Okay. Volvochka broke the bridge. You need a tool. It's not like picking your nose with a pencil. Okay. We need a bridge crossing tool? Or we need to repair the bridge? Interesting. Might be what the spanner's for, yeah. I didn't try that last time. Are those lily pads? I thought they were frogs. Maybe one of the lily pads has a frog. But the rest are just empty. Should be the top of the world. Bridge does look different on this side. Yeah, we can stand on it. Okay, so there's a visual distinction between broken bridge and normal bridge. I don't know what mock talk means. Google Translate's not picking that word up. It might be river? Shore, maybe? Okay, for example, here. This is what I was briefly talking about earlier. Um, back to the map. So this is where we have so far. This is what I have so far. A nice chunk of the map is already coming together, but most notably, two screens here I don't have access to. 
So if I were just playing this game without making a map and just wandering aimlessly, yeah, I would definitely not realize that there's something hidden up here. And there's the key there. So maybe I would, but still. This is one of the purposes of a map, one of the benefits here. Now we have a goal. Figure out how to repair the bridge so we can go up here to this island and see what's up here. This is exciting. Uh, look at this, dude. <laughs> so much map. A little bridge, okay. See, one of the downsides about always just instantly reverting to Google Translate is I'm not actually learning <laughs> the words. I'm just pointing my phone at them. Continue drawing. It's nice when I can like walk across a seam like this, so I can fill in two columns at a time, or two different rows at the same time. We should be getting close to the left side of the world here. Yeah, there's the there's the manhole with the the worker who gives us the ranch, the ranch. Which I think this is the far left of the world. Yeah, I can't go left from here. Okay, is that saying I can cut it again? Yeah, if I had something sharp, I could cut it off. So this is the top left screen. Okay. I gotta get out of here. Oh, it's easy enough. Just follow this line. Go down here. Look at that, another field. Okay, let me crop this image. I've made the, the canvas here larger than it needs to be. What's the differences between these two room descriptions? Why is this one suddenly different? What's a Russian for dough? Dough! Disgruntled. Annoyed. Berries? Okay, this is the fence. We're in the fence. The room to the left of here is the berry field. This is a fence. Awesome. From this screen, we can go visit the pensioner and get 2% score for yelling at him. Let me 
see what this says. Do you want moonshine? Aha! Tell us the recipe. I know you. I recognize you. I gave you pancakes in 1947. <laughs> so you could paint my fence. So you could build a fence for me. The pancakes were disgusting. My Kiss my hairy yellow butt. Give me the pancakes. Two percent. Hey, Long Station, welcome. Icy Bonobo, welcome. The Homer Simpson in Russia. The Amiga version of this game, the Amiga version, which is in English, by the way, I just couldn't get it running, is called An American Idiot in Russia. So I think they're just kind of using Homer Simpson as a stand-in for just generic idiotic American. <laughs> Although this does have a bit of a Simpsons theme to it, so maybe not. Just making my map. So yeah, right now, I'm just drawing a map here while drawing. I'm copy-pasting screenshots into a image file to get a map of the world. So this is the far left edge. We can't go left any further. I wonder what those descriptions say. Lost in the woods. Here you get lost. And here you can get lost. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, hammer. Where's the wastewater, whoops, that's down there. Wastewater treatment plant, or fecal plant, as they call it in the, the game, or as Google Translate calls it. I wonder what that hammer's used for. Yeah, it's hard to say because we have no direction, no goal, no stated objective, anything like that. We're just here. We're just here. And yelling at an old man gets us 2%. And this must be our score. Yelling at an old man about bad pancakes got us 2% score. So, like... <laughs> What? <laughs> this river here is blocking westward progress, or eastward progress, so let's go up and around it. <laughs> the power of a map. Okay, there's the well. There's something down the well, but I don't know how to get it yet. Hosanna, welcome. Kepke, welcome. I think there's a way to complete the game. I I suspect this is a real video game. 
I have faith. My faith may be misguided, but I have faith. So I can't go up unless I were to pick up a key and unlock the door to... What is that? Okay, what's this description say? It's the grandfather's farm. Okay, that's a farm up there. how many screens I have mapped out so far, how many more to go. I'm resisting the temptation to count. I just gotta just gotta get lost in it. I just gotta just gotta pound this out. Another key! Okay, what's that say? What's that say down there? The neighbor's vegetable garden. Is that Ned Flanders? You think Flanders is here? Oh, more green fields. This is what 90% of the screen seem to look like. Well, 90% is a little strong. This is probably what 50% of the screens look like. Just green. <gasps> okay, there's the fry pan. Screens up here. Let's fill this in. And I love making maps. Can't get into the garden over there yet. There's the toilet. Also, since uh, wait, since I can't seem to figure out how to drop items after picking them up, that's another reason why it's very important to make a map like this. So that way I can know where all the different items are. I can plan out which ones to take. Like, finding out how many doors there are and how many keys there are, which keys go to which doors, etc, etc. <laughs> Imagine a dizzy game that didn't allow you to put your items down. <laughs> That's kind of how this game feels so far. You pick up the wrong items at the start of the game. Oh, sorry. You're soft locked. <laughs> That's, it's all over. Can I go left here? There we go. Uh, just a minute, Mifraction. I got a hole I'm filling in. That was really sure welcome. Sentient program, welcome.
we're almost there. Dude, this is, this is, this is moving along very quickly. Map. Map. This is what I have so far. Beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, look at that. So we know uh, just from pr a little bit of walking around, it's 16 screens across and 16 screens up and down. So it'll be roughly this size when it's all said and done, or almost halfway through. But just look, zooming out and looking at like the big picture here is really cool. Like you have your, this is where we start right here. So presumably this might be our house. The post office is here in the northeast corner. There's an island we can't get to here. A giant field of nothingness. <laughs> Presumably there's nothing there. Uh, there's the fecal treatment plant over here on the left we just started taking a peek at. And the neighbor's house down here. The rivers kind of splitting the territory up into multiple discrete sections. And there's multiple items located, like key there, key, frying pan there, nothing here. Uh, the post office has a key outside the door, there's a key here. There's the man who gave us the wrench for, in trade for the salami. A hammer down here. So on, so I see. Well, I'm currently standing right here, so I need to make my way. Do, 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 do. We just gotta, we just gotta keep, keep charting this. What's that say? We start with gum in one of our three inventory slots. It would be really nice to figure out how to get rid of this gum. Uh, Google? Translate? What does it mean? Useful thing I- okay, he's just saying you can't do that. What are you trying to use? Gum on tree? That's silly. More screenshots. What does that say? New description here. There's no vova here. What does th what does that mean? <laughs> I feel like a lot of these room descriptions are literally just jokes. They're jokes that I cannot comprehend because machine translation is <laughs> doesn't translate very well. Jokes. Hey Kaboom, welcome. How is Homer Simpson in Russia? That is a very good question. <laughs> I don't know yet.
I can't go down any further. This river's blocking me. Broken bridge. Boba's not here either. Her Boba. Yeah, we're gonna find a way to fix these bridges, I think. Maybe as simple as obtaining the wrench and then simply using wrench on bridge. There's a new description down here. The tree. Okay, there's something suspicious about the tree. The tree is standing unknown why. Huh? Uh, let's go let's go investigate this tree. <laughs> I want to find Russian Ned Flanders. Tree? I think this is this might be Ned Flanders house. This quaint little shack. Interesting when like a video game adventure is just the setting is just like a mundane residential zone rather than going for any sort of fantasy setting or supernatural or anything it's just it's just it's just a, t a town we're just in some town and there's just people here working <laughs> it's just it's just some town <laughs> Psychotic how <hell>, welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're playing Homer Simpson in Russia. That's, that's the name of the game. It's a Russian-developed Spectrum game that seems to be a top-down uh, inventory adventure game. There's items everywhere to collect and use. It's a ginormous map. I'm currently in the process of uh, making a map. Here we go. This is what it looks like so far. Uh, yeah. Homer Simpson in Russia. I've just been taking really rough screenshots and very quickly and shoddily pasting them together here to formulate a giant map. And then once this map is complete, uh, we'll actually try and finish the game <laughs> and, like, solve puzzles and and do things like that. But for now, I'm just, I'm just walking around taking pictures, observing the sights. I didn't get in here to do this because I needed to spend a key to open this door. Which is probably fine. There's probably more than enough keys, or there's probably exactly enough keys to open all the doors, but I'm just playing it extra safe here. Uh, we just finished 
This is the neighbor's house. There's a key here and a frying pan up here, or a saucepan. We could grab this key and probably open this door and see what this is. The house seems to be flooding, which isn't good. But, about, oh, we're almost halfway down to the map, so let's get back to it. It must be done. Surely, it must be done. Endless night. Oh my god. What a trip that game was. That game is so cool. Yeah, this has nothing on the endless night. You can see where you're going in this game. This is a baby game. The endless night it's kind of similar in structure to this, except the game begins and it's just complete pitch black. You can see your character and nothing else. And you stumble around in utter darkness until you happen to wander into a town, which is like a solid 30 screens away from where you start the game. And when you wander into the town, you finally get a lamp and it illuminates the world and then you can play the game as normal. I think when I played The Endless Night, it took me like a little over an hour to get to the, the town. <laughs> so we literally spent an hour just walking through this world of pitch black nothingness. It was incredible. I don't think Lampless is possible. I don't know. I don't remember though. It's been a long time since I played it. I feel like there's specific things that you have to have the, the vision for. Although if you have maps, maybe not. Oh yeah, you have to visit the town to progress the game. And you automatically get it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Hey, Professor KB, welcome. Uh, this is Homer Simpson in Russia. We're playing as Homer Simpson, and we are in Russia. This is a Russian-developed Spectrum game released in 1998. It's just a little indie game, a little amateur game. A couple people made it. Uh, it's a giant top-down adventure game. I'm in the process of taking screenshots of every individual room and stitching them together to create a map. Ah, oh, the toilet! Why is there a toilet on an island? What is happening? Key. have no current goal in the game. Like, literally the game just starts and you're playing it. We have no goal, no objective, nothing has been stated. It's just, it's just, we're here in Russia. I'm gonna try taking this key. And I'm gonna try opening the toilet. I'm in! And does he say I can't use the toilet? You 
can't fix it. This is the toilet on the beach. And you can't fix it. Or you can't just use it. <laughs> okay, we might be soft locked. I might have soft locked this file because I used the key on the toilet. <laughs> hey, Reg, welcome. Uh, no. Definitely not, Reg. Please don't tell him. Please don't tell Matt about this. Okay, we have to go all the way to the left. Like these broken bridges here, I can't cross them. This bridge works. Okay, this area over here is uncharted. This is the poop station. The fecal factory. Another key! get 16 slices of American cheese if I go into the, the wastewater treatment plant up there. I don't know why I want 16 slices of American cheese. Going down the path. We're getting close to the bottom edge of the world, although there's still tons of empty space to fill in. There's another key! I wonder how many keys there are. Looks like I might be able to go up here. Yeah! Okay, the screen to the left of me, you have to take a convoluted path to get in there, so there might be something of value. The benefits of the map. What? It's just a tree! Does this description say anything unique about this tree, maybe? Here I was on New Year's. Here I was on New Year's. Excuse me?
What? Playing Zork Zero Rich, nice. I've never played the Zork games. I love the feelies in Infocom games, they're really fun. They add a nice element to the game that I quite enjoy. I want to play Trinity by Infocom on stream one of these days. And Trinity comes with a paper origami crane. Or at least instructions to fold one. So before I can play Trinity on stream, we're going to have to get a piece of paper and fold an origami crane. <laughs> on stream. In order to play Trinity. Keep going down here. I just want to cut straight down until I get to the bottom of the world. Is this the bottom? This might be the bottom of the world! Oh! <laughs> Let's go. says here died dizzy <laughs> good <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> there's a key there's a key Here died Dizzy, yep. Oh. Sorry for the loud noises coming from outside. It's quite warm. I have the window open. That's just that's just how it's gotta be. I don't want to melt in here while playing Homer Simpson in Russia. I think it's too bad. There's already been a few fireworks set off, but I think it's too bad I'll shut the window. Okay, so this is interesting here. Uh, we're on the far left border of the world. So we're not ever going to be able to get into this building here. This is just for for flavor. Another benefit of the map. I won't be able to go up here. What? Malfunction, map malfunction. I can go left from here. Okay. Easy fix, easy fix, but I caught it very quickly. Can you go down from here? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And 
up from here. So we can get to this room. Is this another toilet? <laughs> it's all toilets. It's all toilets. Maybe this is a shower? What? Children of M Moy Daughter? What? I, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Reg, it's not even three in the afternoon here. They were shooting fireworks off at like 11 a.m. It's just people, people like things go boom. And frankly, I can't blame them. It's fun when things go boom. It's a little annoying, but it's also fun. A character, a walking wash sink. Oh, thank you for your help, Arma. I appreciate it. Because again, I'm just, I don't read Russian at all. I'm using my phone here in Google Translate to try and understand what's happening. Looks like a giant shower or sink or something. Okay, we almost have the whole map. I almost have it all. So I need to go left here. Okay. Here's the current state of affairs with the map. Got this much, and I believe this is the bottom. Let me count here: one, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't, don't move it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep. Okay, so this is the bottom of the map. So let's crop that down. So this is the shower area that we don't have access to. This is the poop treatment plant, which I didn't fully map out. I have access to a couple of these screens. This is where we start out. This island's inaccessible. Giant field of nothing. A toilet on the beach. We just have this bottom right chunk now, which is only accessible through the road that we're standing on down here. Until we can find a way, if it's possible, to fix these bridges. Presumably we can. It's probably one of the big puzzles of the game is figuring out how to repair these bridges. Or it's one of the first puzzles. Alright, let's keep going. We'll finish this up and we can start playing the game. Yeah, the world is 16 screens across by 16 screens vertical. So it is bigger than I was expecting to. Like, I thought I'd just be able to just wander around and just, just find things and figure it out. It's a little too large for me to just keep track of the size of the world. Especially when you mix in the language barrier. Oh, that's confusing, dude. They have very similar looking screens right next to each other. No toe plan, welcome. Uh, yeah. I'll show you the title screen. There it is. The title screen. See? Homer Simpson in Russia. There it is! <laughs> That's what we're playing right now. Homer Simpson in Russia. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. 
This road seems a little bit jacked. There's just open manholes everywhere on the roads. Maybe it's a, a joke about the state of infrastructure in Russia in the year 1998. Maybe it's commentary. I can't go north. And every screen to the south looks the same. So there's probably something important in this giant field area up above where I've been. How they do it but almost every spectrum game has incredibly catchy music what's that say what's noble pot turn the road turns here I don't know. I've never played the Stalker games. I've only seen the movie Stalker. That movie is awesome. The Tarkovsky film is a good movie. You like movies with extended scenes of people just standing there looking? Or just sitting there looking it just seems like minutes holding the camera on just a person sitting there looking uh, i highly recommend stalker it's a very good film and all of a sudden you get like profound philosophical exposition about the state of human life and morality and what it means to be good or bad and then and then people walk around in bushes and throw rocks and socks <laughs> it's it's a really good movie i gotta watch more tarkovsky okay so this is the edge of the world it's three hours long and it feels like five. That's you're not wrong. But I enjoyed it. 
Let's go up here. So there's large chunks of the map it looks like I'm not able to get to. Okay, never mind. I can get to them. What is this? Who is this? Is that Ned Flanders? Who's this? Superintendent Chalmers? Fence Speculant? What does that even mean? Google Translate's failing me. That's what it means. I haven't seen Paris, Texas, no. I'll have to put that one on my list. Sir? <laughs> the Homer talking? What do you, what's this say? Daragoy, open the flask. What? Open the flask, it will be. Google, you're miserable. How to open it? Listen, I need it. Okay, I see. Another puzzle. <laughs> I don't, I don't see. Uh, I guess the, either the, gu the guy wants to open a flask somehow, or he needs a flask, or he wants one. Oh, he's, they're doing an accent, I see. Item. There's going to be like an invisible item hidden in one of these big fields. A lot of text down there. Let's see what that says. Someone was here. Someone was here on this screen. <laughs> I don't know if that is like relevant.
See, it's hard to tell, again, since I lose all meaning of these words when I run them through the machine translator. It's hard to tell what's meant to be it, it, just jokes, just little random jokes for the room descriptions or if any of them are actually relevant. I get the feeling almost all the room descriptions are just jokes. It's not that important that I don't understand them. But they might not be. Okay, so there's another... Oh, dude, this is so satisfying. So again, like I was saying earlier, um, one of the benefits of making a map here is negative space evaluation. I can look at this overworld here that we've stitched together and see... Okay, it seems like I have no way of getting over here. Therefore, there must be something important over here, and we should try to make our way over here. Like, I, I can't get across this bridge or this bridge. And those are the only two ways into this chunk of the map. So fixing the bridges is going to be a, a, a large priority. Um, I still haven't been over here. There's multiple screens over here I still have access to. I just haven't visited yet. I haven't gone in here because I had to use a key to open this door to check out what's over here. And I haven't gone over here, but I have access to it. Uh, I, I, oh god. Okay, let's line that, line that back up. Okay. <laughs> I haven't gone in here yet. We almost have the map done. We're almost done. So I still have access to these screens down here. So I'm going to move down here and screenshot these areas. And then it's almost time to start playing the game. Hey, bony Skellman, welcome. The top road is named Road to Nowhere, the bottom one's named Road to Somewhere. <laughs> awesome. Where am I? Right there. Oh, some guy in a hat, welcome. Now this game's actually called, legitimately named Homer Simpson in Russia. This is a real video game. People made this game. I don't think they sold it for money, but people made this game. The woods, interesting. The forest. Oh, Yong Station, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, appreciate it. Enjoy, Arma. And yes, thank you again for the, the help with the language. empty field. Well, that's fine. Rapper.
Okay, we're getting some different descriptions in these rooms. Let's see what this says. <laughs> there were ants here. The room we're in now, it says the disk drive smells bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the disk drive smells bad. Homer, do you smell the computer that you are in? It's good here. Here was once a shut. Here. D Google! Here was once a shut here. Doesn't even make sense, Google. Google! Google. Google Translate. says okay <laughs> it's good to know it's not just Google being weird the game itself is also cromulent <laughs> far right edge of the world. Oh, we can't go right any further from here. There used to be a hut here. Oh. Key. Right, now we're getting somewhere. That's a really big word down there. What? We found the garbage building. walls oh my god is this a minefield or something secret of moonshine the secret of moonshine i i can't oh my god another benefit to the map i can start simply drawing the invisible walls
out of control. Goodness gracious, man! Woo! It's a floppy. What? <laughs> Useful thing. I'll tell Bax. Copy this. Huh? I got one percent. What? Moonshine device from Scorpio does not work. The moonshine device is broken. It's broken. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Interesting. 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 Two more screens south of the Moonshine Desert we need to screenshot. say we're in really good shape um, there it is see that that's a map I, I started scribbling the invisible walls down there and then i just gave up because it was pretty simple to find my way through so here's the map um okay i don't have access to this area here I don't have access to these two screens up on the top of the map either. I could probably make my way over here on the left. I know the poop station I could go into and this house I could go into. So let's do that real quick. Let's fill in these three. Dude, stop dragging it. Where's my... Where's my... fill in these areas this one and this one and then tr start trying to figure out how to play the game 
Right, this will probably be the most, the bulk of the work right here. <laughs> like, I can't imagine the actual puzzle element will be that involved. But then again, we also only have 3%. Let's go. Uh, first stop. Let's go grab this key down here and try and use it to open this door and fill out these screens. We'll start with that. Out of here, oh my god, we have to go up. Another broken bridge. this disc buddy <laughs> as long as we walk down the middle of the road that we can always walk safely without impediment Here we have to go south. I'm here to get the key. We passed Dizzy's graveyard. Oh, he wants me to open the cans near him. Oh, that's what he says. Oh, thank you. Interesting. I'll head back over there momentarily, but my inventory is full. We got to get rid of this key. I'm in. Here we got urinals, we got toilets, we have sinks. This might be the game with the most toilets in it that I've ever played. Find a key elsewhere and bring it in here to get whatever the heck that is. a redundant key somewhere so now there's a key in here yeah, there's a key right over here so I'm really worried here um, using this key to open this door to pick up whatever items on the other side will fill up my inventory Which means I won't be able to pick up any more items until I figure out how to either get rid of the gum, the disc, or whatever this thing is. What? Looks like a ticket? A helpful thing. I'll tell Bam. Does that say dynamite? Dynamite!
would not trust Homer Simpson with dynamite. Let's see if we can use it to open the cans over here. Now my inventory is full. Uh, I might have to reset. It's like I can't pick up a key to open any of the other doors unless I can figure out how to use these items. screens I can fill in I think I'm I think it's about time to reset can't go that way I think it's probably about time to reset I don't feel good about the state of my <laughs> inventory but we're gonna have to figure out how to use these items eventually The well. Let's throw the dynamite down the well. Dynamite! Uh-huh! No. Something in there, but I can't grab it. I didn't get a picture of this screen here. Okay, thank goodness we revisited. called Black Raven. Basically Warcraft 1 <laughs> on the spectrum? Really? Black Raven? Black Raven, Black Raven 2, Black Raven the new missions. Uh, can you press down the right word? Okay. What the baba? How?
Huh? Okay, I pick it up. I pick that up. I hold the button down. Now it's glowing. And I can drop it. Okay, you have to hold the button down. You can't drop the gum. But if you hold the button down, I can drop that. You know what? You know what it is? I could have actually dropped items this whole time. I just didn't understand. You don't even have to hold the button down, yeah. Okay. It's just like Dizzy. It's literally just like Dizzy. You just select which item from your inventory and you just drop it in front of you. Okay, the game's playable now. <laughs> yeah, now we can hoard inventory items. Oh, good call, good call. Thank you. So, let's, I guess we need to establish like a home base. Should probably be our house. So we don't need to reset. We're just going to continue the game. So here's the front of our house. Let's drop the dynamite. But he doesn't drop the disc here? I can only drop items on specific tiles. If I'm looking at... If where I'm looking at says this. Whatever Tabapa translates to. Which Google does not understand. I can only drop items on these specific tiles, okay. Like, this is not one of those tiles. Okay, so let's try, set those there. Uh, let's go get the key. Grass, okay, we only drop items on grass, okay. That makes sense. finish my map of this area yeah there's the salami and now we can go get the spanner perhaps start repairing bridges <laughs> salami
was a knife in there! Now we have something sharp! Uh, inventory full. It's <laughs> all that. And welcome. It's going very well. I'm playing some Homer Simpson in Russia. This game is awesome. Okay. This gum, this chewing gum. I'm getting owned because I have chewing gum in my inventory. No, pick that up. Does he not want to put the sausage down? He doesn't. Okay. Uh, let's go trade this sausage for... this to just fix a bridge? Is it that simple? Do I just use the fix bridge command? Let's find out. <laughs> what? Okay, Homer said something. You need a tool. It's not like picking your nose with a pencil. Okay. So we can't use the wrench to fix the bridge, but the wrench is still... Maybe the wrench will fix the moonshine machine. Let's see if I can cut a plant using this knife. Knife is as dull as you are. <laughs> oh, dang it, dude! <laughs> All right. All right. Be that way. Let's go into the water treatment facility. We might be trying to blow it up. Like, I have, again, no idea what our objective is in this video game. We have a disc and dynamite available. Oh, you can just walk on them. I thought they were blocking the, okay. Let's set that down. Let's set that down. We're just gonna start hoarding items here. Another key I haven't picked up. I'm using, I'm just using my phone, some guy. The Google Translate app on my phone. It's not that good, but it's better than nothing. Now we're gonna go to the, the poop. The poop facility. Screens have like black borders on them. Of 
64 slices of American cheese. Why? <laughs> what? Get anything here? Up, 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 up. There's another door back there that I can't unlock. I don't have another key for it. And that leads to the hammer. The hammer might be what fixes the bridges. Oh, the stove said there's the fry pan! The fry pan! Everything's coming together here. Let's go get the hammer now. Okay, um, let's I mean, look at my map here. So there's still this large area here to the right of me I can't access yet. I need to try and figure out how to repair these stinking bridges. So let's head south here. Let's see if the hammer works to repair the bridge. Flanders house. We're gonna head to Ned Flanders house. Aha! Uh -huh. My inventory's full. Okay, uh, uh, first, can I drop things here? No, this isn't grass. It would probably be smarter to find like a giant grassy field to accumulate my items in. But I've already started a pile of items up here. This is kind of a bad location for them, I think. I only have these four grass tiles. Okay, this screen's a little bit better. He doesn't... He refuses. Why? He simply chooses not to let go of the cheese. Let go of the... He just doesn't... He just doesn't. Let's get the key first. 
Yoink. Mwah. Mwah. Start with the gum, yeah. <laughs> I can't figure out how to get rid of it. So it was. I'm not guilty. This house is flooded, the pipe is burst, and we can steal the clock. Clock? No Simos? Wait, what, wh why'd that just show up? What's that mean? Homer? Do you reckon the clock is meant to actually display the real world time? but because I'm just using an emulator that's not set up correctly instead just doesn't. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, and I can't even put it down! Assessing. He doesn't want to climb in bed. He can't go to sleep. It's too much work to do. Yes, I'm tired. I should lie down. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Homer wants to go to sleep. Yeah, I think I have to walk all the way back to Flanders house to deposit this clock back on his little desk. It's not too far. saucepan. Let's see if we can cook up some cheese. Maybe we can cook the cheese and the gum together and have a delicious cheese infused gum. Gum infused cheese perhaps.
pancakes! Alright, where's the pensioner? We just magically created pancakes from nothing. Like, we still have the cheese and the gum. We just transformed the fry pan into pancakes. Alright, buddy. I got your pancakes right here. Pancakes! What's it say? Give me my pancakes. These are not the pancakes I gave you. What is this pancake meme? Okay, go get a pension and buy some ingredients. Uh-huh. Let's go to the post office. Oh, it's a long walk over here, but let's head. Still don't know how to get up there. This door is automatically open. This is the post office. Yes, sir. Hey, computer! Zed? Maybe I can use the disc here. Maybe we can virus him. Where's the disc? Where's the disc? Oh, it's in the grass. I left it in the grass. Okay, what are you saying here? Who are you? A pensioner. What do you need? My pension. Show me the, the document. All right, let's hack his computer. First steps first. Let's grab this key from here. Let's see if we can open the door from the other screen. We're speculating this might be the case here. No. There's a door to the right of me, but it's on the other screen, so I can't use my key on the door. Okay. Drop the key there for now. Let's go get the disc and come back here. <laughs> One inventory slot's making this quite quite rough. Like, I don't want to walk all the way back to the wastewater treatment to just to drop this cheese again. I probably should. Okay. 
release the disc. Oh, what's, what's he doing? Homer, are you hacking? Is Homer a hacker? We need to write a letter to Zonov. Zed is now loading. From Homer Simpson, we're writing in C. From Homer Simpson to 5026 slash 5.4. What? To Sergi Zonov. What's the subject? How to fix your device. What is this? How to break the device? Oh. Come on, Google. Hello, Sergey. I found your device in the grass, but I don't know how to fix it. Help. That's what Google says, but if it's a break. What device? Three percent. Might be the moonshine device. Yeah, the moonshine device. <laughs> oh, he's, he replied. Got an email back. Hello, Homer. Cheese and chewing gum. Clean the lamp nozzle with wire. What? Wire the lamp nozzle? Like, I'm sure Google is just struggling here. Clean the lamp nozzle with wire. Five percent. Yeah, it's gotta be the moonshine apparatus. Wire. Hey, <laughs> orbital. Solid snack, welcome. This is a truly mysterious video game. We're one fourth of the way through. Okay, where'd I put the key? Key. Is there anything in here? <laughs> Was there any reason to use that key? <laughs> what? I want pea porridge with milk. Homer! I might have wasted a key. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's, let's think here. Uh, we have a number of items I haven't used yet. Let's go. Let's go back to our central base and observe the available items and try and brainstorm something to do with them. Da, da, 
Why is Homer in Russia? I can't answer that. He just lives here, I guess. I mean, Springfield could be in Russia. Did I get this key over here? I got that key, yep. So we have dynamite, which I haven't used. We have a wrench, which I haven't used, or a spanner. We have a knife, which I haven't used. Described as being very dull, just like we are. And a hammer, which I haven't used. I have cheese, 64 slices of cheese, which I haven't used. And I have chewing gum, which I'm stuck with. Shine device. There's multiple bridges. There's multiple bridges blocking access to certain parts of the map. Uh, yeah, we have a full map. Here, I'll show it off again. Yeah. Well, we have majority of a full map. There's just rooms I don't have access to yet. So this is what it looks like. Uh, 16 tiles by 16 tiles. <laughs> a lot of nothingness, empty fields. But I don't know how to get up here to grab this key. There's two broken bridge tiles, which we need to figure out how to fix. So maybe it just, oh, I need both the hammer and the wrench in my possession at the same time. I can use them together to fix the bridges. I should try that, which means I need to drop the cheese. What even, do we even have any more locked doors? Because there's a couple, like there's a key up here, which I can't grab, but like, There aren't even any other locked doors, I don't think. Uh, this island here as well. Okay, the island has some red item here that I don't have access to because again, same as before, there's a bridge here and a bridge here that are broken. So I can't gain access to this island yet. Uh, this guy wants us to try and open these cans, these canteens, whatever they are next to him. I don't know how to do that. There's the moonshine device. Invisible wall maze. There's a toilet. A clock. The clock on the desk. There's two different wells. There's one outside of our house. And there's one outside of Flanders' house. Oh, we might need a key for our, our bedroom closet. Because he says this is locked if we try to open it. So maybe that's one of the extra keys is for. Okay, let's focus on, focus on fixing a bridge. We'll try and figure that part out. So first that means I need to go... We'll grab the hammer and go drop the cheese. Say. <laughs> he says that every time. Good. 
<laughs> Good. The voice samples in this are a lot better than the Oliver Twins were able to do for their Dizzy games, but they were also 10 years prior to this. Uh, now let's go get the wrench. I don't think just the hammer alone is enough to fix the bridges. See, there's this bridge right here. You, just, you, you can't do it. You need a tool. Screens. So the solution to the bridge puzzle was you must be carrying both the hammer and the wrench in order to repair what is this? In order to repair bridges. And the wrench is only obtainable by trading the salami to the man in the sewers and the hammer is just in the backyard of the wastewater treatment facility what is this a farm what Beginning of Red Square. It's a mausoleum. Oh no. I hope we get some skeletons. Screenshots. red item over here. What am I looking at? An empty can. Interesting. Okay, we might need this after fixing the moonshine device to fill with moonshine. Okay, what other bridges are there? It's time to repair... It's time to Sam Porter Bridges our way through this world. Oh, it could be for the well, yeah! That might be it too. All the way to the north now. 
I don't want to be walking through these fields. Uh, let's walk on the coast here. Always have to do that. Fix that one. Something might happen if we repair all of the pants. I got rid of the gum! <laughs> what? what? Wait, what does this say? Here's where the tailor died. There's new pants with no chewing gum. Okay. Yeah, I guess, okay, I guess the chewing gum was like stuck in our pants. Our pockets were full of chewing gum. And so we found a fresh pair of pants change into ba, 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 ba. which means there must be something we can only do with all three <laughs> inventory slots filled now there's also a key here I'm not sure what to use this key for mm. now, seeing as how we needed to use both the hammer and the wrench in conjunction to repair the bridges there's probably a third puzzle or something else that requires using all three items at the same time. Uh, let's take this key back to our house and see if I can use it to... Well, actually, actually, one thing I want to see is if I repair all the bridges in the world, something might happen. So even some of these bridges that are out of the way I want to repair, uh, there's one more. There's one more bridge, and it's pretty far out of the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go this way. What even is locked? This is locked. Credits, Mr. Gluck and Scheme Man, Vlad, Q Master, and Valerie, Leo. Gluck rules forever. <laughs> we fixed the TV. <laughs> God. 
Wait, what's the last line? Something about beer. Ivanovsk beer is the best beer. <laughs> again okay whatever okay i don't know where to use this key Let me go repair that final bridge. It's a bit of a walk, but... Okay, we can just stay on the coast here. One percent, one third of the way through. Toilet. All bridges have been fixed. We now have full access to the world. Uh, since we're here, let's just go head over to the moonshine machine. We don't have a wire to clean the lamp yet, but just out of curiosity. Scorpio's moonshine device doesn't work work okay um. myself. You go up. I did it! What happened? Give me a can! He wants a can now. Okay, let's go get the can. Uh, drop the key. Let's go get the can. He doesn't like the way I opened it. Well, too bad. <laughs> Go get the can. There's a can. I don't even know how I opened it or what I used. Can. That's for a well. That's a well bucket. Okay. 
to all the wells now. I need to remember I left a key down there. We still have... What if we need to put dynamite in the bucket and then lower it down the well? That might be good. I feel like the game is heading in that direction. There's something in there, but nothing to get it with. Yeah, it could be an issue of inventory space. still have the 64 slices of American cheese. And the clock. Like, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do. Um, The pensioner wants us to get his pension for him, but the man at the post office won't give us anything. The moonshine device is broken. Oh, you think the cl oh that could be? Well, we're right outside. We're right next to the clock. We can just pick it up. Like, what am I trying to blow up? Just... My thought is we're supposed to steal our neighbor's clock so that we can go to sleep. Well, like we need an alarm clock to set in order for our character to fall asleep. As far as other characters go, there's the man at the post office, there's the old man who rants about pancakes, and there's the man with the cans. And there's a whole heck of a lot of screens with nothing in them. I haven't used the knife anywhere. I haven't used the bucket, the dynamite, the clock. I have an extra key, but no more locked doors to use it on. And that's really strange. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> There's literally no more locked doors. So why did I get another key? Well, there is a locked door. I guess the only other locked door is the one leading to the back of the, the post office. I don't seem to have access to it. 
Maybe we can sharpen the knife somehow? <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I'm worried that at this point, what needs to be done is just some arbitrary, you know, search in this random field for an item. I'm worried that it's something like that. The hammer and the wrench, the knife. I tried it once, well maybe it wasn't the right berries. Or maybe there's only one specific... Just down. Okay, this changes almost nothing, but actually, this changes everything. Well. Well, you know what this means. There's only one thing to do now. Uh. Uh. Okay, um... Let me quickly skim the map to see if there's any specific areas to focus on. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, Doppel. Good thing we have a map. Are there is there anything like super suspicious that's blocked by bushes? Like so now we can just eliminate all of these bushes here and just open up free access to a lot of these areas, but what good would that actually do? They might be hiding items under one of these bushes. There's a lot of bushes. This guy down here is pretty suspicious. It might only be used just to make shortcuts and open up Dizzy's grave. Dizzy's grave was this one right here. <laughs> this place here is really suspicious. Red square. I, uh, it could be anything. Literally anything. Nothing really seems super obvious. Like there's a field here. Well. 
well. Let's start cutting. Very satisfying sound effect. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. It's gonna take forever. Can't cut the tree. Somehow I don't think this is going to help. But there might be something right there. Unless there's specifically one single bush that's hiding an item. Oh yeah, you can sh feel free to share, Tango. I'm not too worried about like s spoilers or backseating in a game like this, which is just such complete mystery so if i was really close to something <laughs> then yeah you can tell me because i may never try again oh the shelves <laughs> from the left side okay thank you let's go try that Like right here? Cabinet's locked and there's nothing to open it. Hammer time! Now I don't have enough hands to carry it. Whatever it is I'm trying to pick up. Nowhere to put it. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this bloody clock, man. I gotta put the clock down. certificate we got the document all right we got our document now we can prove we're a pensioner <laughs> let's go put the clock down we need the inventory space you can move the cheese to the big square table in the house okay close to the cheese let's just swap by there and just relocate it towards our house where 
took a wrong turn. Wish I wish I had the knife with me. I could just cut through these bloody bushes. Drop the cheese off in our house, uh, drop the hammer and trade it with a knife, and then make our way back up to the post office, exchange our pensioner certificate, get our pension, and give it to the old man, I suppose? Because he wants it? And maybe we'll get the bad pancakes? Or maybe he'll give us ingredients to make good pancakes? <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Cheese goes there. Okay, only that one specific tile allows cheese. What's that say? The cockroaches are swelling. It's time to kick. I see. Makes a nice satisfying sound when you cut a bush. Maybe I'm supposed to give this to the old man. You can't kill me with a dull knife. I, just, I don't want to kill you! Put the knife down. I didn't mean to threaten you! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who are you, pensioner? What do you want? Pension. Any documents. Da. Okay, what's this say? I have my documents. This photo's not yours! I swear it's me. Will you take a bribe? Do you have it? Come on, come on, Google. It. Come on, Google. A do Mori give. A Google is not picking up whatever this says. Come on. I can give you food! Oh, food, okay. Pancakes? 
How mysterious. <laughs> we need some scotch tape, a cat, and a fake ID. I like where you're thinking, Dieter. I like where your head's at. Why did I come here? This is not where I wanted to be. Maybe dynamite. go Simpson in Russia. Okay, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Documents. Would you take food? I would. Oh! Okay. Ugg, throw this crap out. Come on. He doesn't want the cheese. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He took it. Throw it away anyway. Uh, actually, I'd rather eat it. What? Okay. We bribed him. Okay. He got the... He got the... Where's the pension? We got our documents. We got our pension. We have money. Let's go give this to the old man for pancakes? Or for the ingredients to buy pancakes? What are we doing? What is the... The narrative? What is... What? Why is Homer in Russia? <laughs> I can't follow the story. What's the plot? I still haven't used the bucket or the dynamite. Okay, what's now? New dialogue. New dialogue. Go buy some milk for the mash. And the money? Did you squeeze my pension so it's only 120? And this is the universal equivalent. What? Okay, give me the bucket. Let's go to the man now. The man with the buckets. Maybe we can fill our well bucket with milk. Maybe he's got canisters of milk. And we can now acquire milk from him. Okay, cross the bridge. <laughs> he 
<laughs> yeah, Arma. It's it's good to know that games like this are just as incoherent, even if you know what's going on, or if you can read what's going on. <gasps> we got it! Okay, we have a bucket of milk. Uh, let's get the key while we're here. Oh, wait. He took my money and we traded it for milk. Forty-nine percent. have dynamite okay buddy got your milk what's okay the quest is proceeding kick a couple frogs how will i get them what Slap it on the head and grab it. Pick a couple of frogs. We need frogs. say I'm looking at? I see a frog. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, man. I'm worried that there's one specific frog in the entire game that I can interact with. Like, only one specific frog. Why do you need a frog? Hammer! A hammer! We probably gotta bop him on the head with a hammer. Smash him on the head with a hammer. What? Hallelujah. Oh, it sank. Okay, yep, we gotta bash all the frogs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. 
Is this a timing puzzle? I can't get to that one, okay. Yo, Dana, welcome. Uh, I honestly didn't know what to expect going into this. I, I had no idea. I was prepared because this game does have a sequel. I was prepared to jump right into the sequel if this ended up being short. And we can take a quick look at it once we finish. But I'm definitely not going to play through the sequel immediately after this. This is definitely more... It's longer than I thought. I was kind of anticipating two to three hours total. But then we spent, you know, two hours just making the map. So that kind of... Kind of was very necessary, but also slowed things down. Is this just... We're bashing frogs. There's a lot of frogs to bash, by the way. There's a lot of frogs to bash. So I'm gonna bash them all. Apologies to frog lovers worldwide, but Homer Simpson in Russia must bash some frogs to make some moonshine. I'm sure you understand. It's not done out of malice, it is done out of necessity. Nothing personal against the frogs. But we need to make moonshine. I really hope I'm not doing something wrong. Uh, before I get too frog bash crazy, let's let's try something. Let's try something. I want to go pick up the bucket of milk and have that in my inventory. Maybe we're meant to have the bucket with us and then bash the frog and then catch it in the bucket or something like that. Since a lot of the puzzles seem to be just simply holding the correct combination of inventory items at the same time. Let's get that. There should be some frogs right up here. Hallelujah. to bash every frog in the world or at least in Russia and then the very last one bashed will be the one that we collect let's talk to the old man see if we can like check in I'm doing my best I've bashed a lot of frogs have to say sir the frogs are drowning yeah honestly then don't you're a bastard are you losing your hearing or are you just stupid <laughs> what you're a scumbag. I'm getting old. I don't remember. Are you going bald or are you just a fool?
What? I'm tired of you. Beer dot dot dot. I can keep bashing frogs. Now he wants beer? What is this game? It's Homer Simpson in Russia. Beer in the fridge. All right, beer. I'm tired of you. I like a beer. How can I drink it? Maybe you can open it. How do I? How will I open it? Oh my god, man! It just keeps going. How will I open this beer? Won't somebody open this beer for me? I can't open this beer. That's not a twist off. Russian folk remedy. Door. your beer what? <laughs> what? drink half of it okay what now so where's the money you yourself ordered it to buy everything Go look for money. You lost it. Look there. Now we need to get some money? Fireworks. Well, we spent our- we gave our money to the guy, so let's head back to the guy. 66%? We're getting there. It's coming together. I've ever tried to open a, <laughs> a beer bottle with a door. I think that's a new one. I need my money back. Uh, smiling big welcome. Thank you for the Prime Gaming, a fresh Prime Gaming subscription. Thank you. The milk has turned sour. 
Drive it away. The day before yesterday there was good money. I'll wrap you up behind your... What? The milk was bad. I choked him. I choked him out and got my money back. What? Wait, what? Something American? I don't think Google likes those words. Yeah, I think he's I think he's displeased with Homer Simpson's behavior. <laughs> Thank you, Smiling Pig. I appreciate it. 68%. Alright, we got the money. Now it's back to the old man. There's a lot of back and forth in this. I, I, I'm gonna guess we're gonna go back to the old man. He's gonna say, hey, where's the milk? Go get some more milk. <laughs> we still haven't used the dynamite or that key. We have a we have dynamite and an extra key that I haven't used. Why didn't I earn money? My pension is small, see? What? Wow, it's it's interpreting these as numbers. It's interpreting this as numbers. Wow, you 306,986 money. It just says go and earn money. Okay. <laughs> we need more money? Let's get the knife. Apparently you didn't earn it. Go and get some more money. <laughs> I'm going to take the knife to the post office and we're going to stab the man working there to get some more money. We already bribed him once with cheese. Maybe we need to bribe him with something else, actually. Ah, they're talking. Alright. Let's hash it out. Google Translate is so bad. Drive money. I'll call the Mentosaurs. I'll call you. What? Homer. What? He's dead. I killed him! How am I gonna get money? Did I get money? Money? 
I got I got rid of the knife. Hide the evidence. I hid the evidence. Oh, I cleaned the knife. I just washed the knife, okay. 70%. Uh, I stabbed a man. He's very dead. I stabbed a man with a knife because he wouldn't give me money. And now he's dead. Oh, I got the phone! The wire! We can clean the lamp with the wire now. Everything's coming up. Millhouse. He will not be fine. He will never live again. <laughs> we stabbed him. Yeah, this is where the door is. The door is to the right of me, but we can't interact with things off, off screen. Can we bash any frogs? We did spend a little bit of time just bashing frogs with hammers as well. I still have dynamite. Stab you too. This is new. Are we going to make moonshine? Something about making moonshine. Bring the ingredients to the machine. Let's go with the machine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I still have an extra key and dynamite and a clock. Time to go with the machine. a little confusing. I have to go right. Here's the moonshine device. <gasps> Fixed. What does that say? It worked. I don't have any milk anymore. We might have to get new milk now. Yeah, milk and frogs. Those might be the ingredients. <laughs> and maybe now we can successfully bash a frog and get good milk. I mean, now that I've killed, it's not that hard to kill again. We can just, just stab that other man and take his milk. Sir? Go take everything into the machine. All right. Boop, boop, 
Dynamite and a clock. Hmm, eighty one per cent. Stupid American. It could be literally anything. Um, yeah, we haven't used the dynamite. It could be part of the the recipe. We might need to get some turds from the fecal treatment plant. The clock from Ned Flanders' house. I guess I just need to cart all of my items down to... To the moonshine device? Why did I go this way? This was a huge mistake. Where the heck am I? Okay, I'm here. This is the edge of the world. Moonshine device. Um. So I'm just gonna cart all my items down here. I have no idea what to do. We might just need to be holding the correct combination of items and then interact with a device. That could be all we have to do. There's still the well. Like, he says he sees something in the well, but I've never got anything out of the well. A dynamite! Hail <laughs> Mega Number. It's going pretty well. We're almost at the end of the game here. Homer Simpson in Russia. This is a giant fetch quest. Uh, a lot's happened. A lot has happened and also nothing has happened. I can bash frogs. We stabbed a man. Uh, <laughs> I bought some sour milk and then returned it. I guess we're trying to make some moonshine. I think is our ultimate goal. This is a very strange video game. Okay, go in 
here. Invisible walls. See, it doesn't... See, this is strange. Normally... I'm using the interact button and it's bringing up my inventory as if the tile I'm facing is empty. So maybe, okay. Well, you never have to individually select which items to use. It's always been the case till now, if you have the items in your inventory and you're facing the correct thing, pressing the button just uses them automatically. So, maybe what this is depicting is... I, we fixed the device? Let's go to Red Square. Let's go to Red Square. I guess there's no proof Homer stabbed anyone, that's right. We definitely got rid of the evidence. They can't pin that on me. Mausoleum. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Welcome. Thank you for the good luck. Uh, we're playing Homer Simpson in Russia. For those who missed it, um, I have spent a fair amount of today's stream building this map here. Uh, this is a top-down adventure game. Made in Russia, starring Homer Simpson. And I stitched together this map. It's 16 rooms across by 16 rooms vertically. And yeah, we're just kind of walking around stabbing people. <laughs> Trying to make moonshine. We got some cheese and then bribed somebody with some cheese at one point. We got some sausage and gave it to a man in a sewer. That happened. Uh, we bought some milk and then it went bad, so we returned it. A lot of things have been happening. Uh, we found a hammer. We bashed some frogs on the head. I don't know what to do. Oh, we found some pants as well. We're wearing a, a spare pair of pants that we just found on an island. This guy's dead. It's this giant empty field. Like, I'm really hoping that there's not something hidden in this giant open field. There's the room with the toilet that didn't have anything in there, but maybe now there's just magically something there. This is Red Square. Could be something here. Could be something here. There's the toilet room. There's the garden. The wastewater treatment. That's where we got the hammer. 
cheese. 64 slices of American cheese. Salami, toilet. Okay, let's think, let's try and think rationally about this, because this has been a very rational game. Let's use adventure game logic to try and consider our choices. I have not used dynamite anywhere in the game, nor have I used a clock. We have dynamite and a clock, and they've been unused. We also just got money. <laughs> There's no one to spend the money on. There's no one to give the money to. So let's go pick up the clock. The song is a bop, yeah. I'm a big fan of this music. Where am I? Okay, pond. Drop the spanner. I don't think we can do anything else at the neighbor's house here. You can just pick up the clock or set it down, it looks like. Just, he just, he just doesn't. Huh. wants pea porridge with milk yeah he says that a lot I just ignore him it's just it's just like a nonsense response if you're doing something that's invalid I just ignore him Back over here. Maybe now I have to hit a frog. to cut these bushes down oh where's my knife I need the knife where'd I put the knife it's all the way back at the still I don't know what to do <laughs> check the refrigerator fix leakage in another house maybe Ooh, what about in there?
This is our house. Does that say I don't have hands or does that say there's nothing else in here? My conscience won't let me take another beer. Really, Homer? Really, Homer? Maybe I have to use the toilet first. Maybe now we can use the beer. Inventory. Okay. I'll try that. It's a different... It, it says different words. I can't just fix it like that. We have to fix our toilet? Okay. Hammer and wrench. I'm scattering them. Okay, hammer, 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 hammer. I might need the wrench. I don't remember where I put the wrench. What? The shock is broken. Take the toilet seat. I got the toilet seat. I have a... We smashed the toilet with a hammer and took the seat. What? in the house? Oh my god. Credits, Mr. Gluck, Scheme Man, Vlad, Q Master, Valerie, Leo. Gluck rules forever. There's something else here in the toilet. Those are windows with curtains, okay. Ooh, 
What? This is my home! Okay, we got some broken glass. This is my home! Why am I smashing the windows out and breaking the toilet? I live here, don't I? What good will this do? Stab, 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 knifey stabby. Let's play some knifey stabby. Alright, pensioner. I'm sick and tired of all your running around. <clears throat> Bring the ingredients to the moonshine machine. Okay, we can't kill him. Oh, the glass on the berry bushes? What? What? A hatch opened the bush. I was hungry and I ate the berry. A hatch opened the bush. The verse was invented by Mr. Gluck. Okay. Awesome. Why are we converting berry bushes into hatches? We're still at 81%, so this isn't getting any score. Um, is there anywhere we can get to by destroying berry bushes and knives? And bushes, rather? I'm just checking the map. I don't see anywhere that's like gated by berry bushes. I'm so confused now. Okay, so now we have a horseshoe. No, that's not a horseshoe. It looks like a horseshoe. Now we have a toilet seat, dynamite, and a clock that I haven't used. I've used the knife, or the glass, I... 
I can't even drop the glass, by the way. I can't drop the glass shard. It might be a situation where I can only drop it. Oh! What's that? What? What? What's this? I could just pick this up. What's canny stuff? Cabbage. Cabbage. It's cabbage. That's cabbage. What am I doing? Cabbage? Cabbage? You can't make moonshine out of cabbage and toilet seats, can you? Oh, I can put the glass- oh, okay, we can put the glass down there. We can grab it through the window. <laughs> Ray Raid! Oh my god, double raid! Uh, Ray Raid, esports are for losers, Raid. Welcome, Raiders. Holy smokes. Thank you for the double raid. Welcome, Ray. Welcome, esports. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. Hope your streams went well, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm playing Homer Simpson in Russia. This is a Russian developed uh, Spectrum game starring Homer Simpson. We are... Well? <laughs> We're walking around Russia here... Trying to make some moonshine. <laughs> Welcome Raiders! Welcome everybody! This is definitely a game. Thank you Anonymous for the gift subs. Thank you. I can't read Russian by the way. I've been using my phone to Google Translate, plus there's a couple people in chat who've been helping. Uh, essentially this is an adventure game. I made a map of the game, as you can see here. We spent a, a little bit of time making this map earlier. I think it came together pretty well. Uh, the game's made up of 256 screens, 16 across by 16 down. And we just kind of walk around and pick stuff up and buy some milk and then give it back and get your money back and then uh, smash open a bookcase with a hammer to get some documents to get some pension and then spend that money and piss off an old man and then go stab somebody. We did kill a man. Uh, we broke some windows. What else have we done? Uh, we gave a sausage to a man in a sewer. That was pretty cool. And the man in the sewer gave us a, a spanner or a wrench. We found a pair of pants. <laughs> it's, it's an extremely weird game, this one. A lot of stuff's happened. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're playing an obscure German DOS game. Oh, published by German chocolate manufacturer. Which one? I might know of it. I love advertisement games. Was it Harry Boy's Quest? Or is that French? Harry Boy's Quest looks great. Okay, I don't know that one. Agent XXL und das Geheims. I cannot read it. I've never heard of that before. Oh, I'm sad I missed the stream. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, esports building retro computers. That's awesome. I wish I, I could do that. I mean, I, I could probably could figure it out. That's a lot of work. So at the point at the moment in this game, uh, we're just trying to make moonshine, and I have no idea how we're meant to do that. We found 
or after killing somebody and cleaning the evidence, we cut a telephone wire and used the telephone wire to repair the moonshine still. We also bashed a toilet and took the seat. I don't know how these will help me in my quest, but maybe they will. Didn't do anything there. <gasps> There's the wrench. Okay. I'm gonna put the clock down. I'll grab this. I'll head back to the still. Um, I don't think there's anything in it yet, but I don't know. It's very hard to tell. It's over here in the corner. There's invisible walls everywhere, you gotta walk around them. I can't I can't use my items here. I can't look at it. it just doesn't say. Maybe I have to use this toilet seat on one of the other toilets. So if I go... North? Maybe I'm supposed to use the toilet seat here. I can't do it like that. I can't just fix hammer? Hammer, 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 hammer. Where's my hammer? Where did I put the hammer? I think it's back up here. wells I haven't been able to do anything with. There's the hammer. Dynamite. Okay, let's put the cabbage down. Let's put the wrench down. Let's get the dynamite and the hammer. Go back to the toilet, I guess? Hey Ilya, welcome. Yeah, I don't I don't speak or read the language. I've been using my phone here and Google Translate. Plus people in chat have been helping out tremendously. What? Hands full. Okay, drop the dynamite. Ah! Ah! Okay, drop the dynamite. Broke another toilet. I got another toilet seat. All right, take care, Ray. Thank you for the raid. Uh, rest well. So you can just bash any toilet is what I'm getting out of this. Urinals. 
Uh, what's your guess, some guy? Yeah, I'm curious. I haven't figured out what to use the toilet or what to use the dynamite for yet. Okay, to get to the urinals, we need to go. Over here. Combine the dynamite and clock to make a time bomb. See, that makes sense. So I don't think it's the right answer. <laughs> There's no function to combine items together. I can hold the dynamite and I can hold the clock at the same time. But it doesn't actually do anything that way. Sink. I can't break this glass, okay. I inventory is full. I got I gotta drop these. I don't have any room to carry these. Da, 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 da. These toilet seats are clogging my inventory. There we go. You can only drop items on grass. Empty grass. Let's pick up the dynamite. Ba, 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 to do. Throw the dynamite in there. Hammer? There's cabbages up there. I'm going to Dizzy's grave. Oh, they don't have the knife with me. I walked okay is this I walked past Dizzy's grave money knife So I'm stuck at 81%. Uh, the percentage is our score. It goes up as we do things. I can't figure out how to get more than 81%. Ostensibly our goal is to create moonshine in the still, but we fixed it and it's working. But I don't know how to collect it. Or even if that's actually what we're supposed to be doing. We had to spend this money on milk but the milk was bad, so we had to return the milk to get our money back. But now we just have money, but nothing to spend it on. I don't know what to do! Anybody has suggestions or ideas? Feel free to share. I know there is long play out there. There's guide. 
Somebody else has played this game, so the answers are out there. But... Oh, and Zizzy, welcome. This is good music, isn't it? I haven't tried putting the cabbage in the moonshine. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Oh, there's a... There's a There's a berry. There's a berry. I need a berry. So we have to go get the glass and try and cut every single berry bush until we find one that gives a berry. All right. Well, let's go. We have a we have a goal. Like there's a number of berry bushes that are like locked away. Or hidden. Let me drop the one right there. Glass. Okay, so around my house. There's berry bushes in the side yard, but I can't actually get to the side yard. Like down here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We've bashed our house. We broke all the windows in our house. We fixed our TV. We broke our bookshelf or our closet. Help! Nope, inventory's full. Why does this just keep happening? So this only happens if I'm carrying the glass in my possession and I interact with a berry bush. And according to Google Translate, what it says is, I was hungry so I ate the berry. A hatch opened the bush. It was invented by Mr. Gluck. We need to have the glass shard in our pocket so we can eat the berries. I don't want to do this to all the berry bushes. There's millions of them. Uh, let's see if there's any suspicious ones. Let's review the map here. Like, so this is the yard of my house. And see, there's berry bushes. Oh, that's not visible. There's berry bushes here, but I can't actually get to them. Uh, this way is blocked by the water. There's no way around through here. You can't break through the fence or anything like that. But there's the thing is, there's hundreds of these bushes. I could be any one of these. Out on the island here, this is Cabbage Island with berry bushes, maybe? Maybe one of those. There's another toilet we could go bash. We can't get in, can't get through here. This is inaccessible. Maybe the man in the sewer has something new.
So I don't think there's any new locations I haven't gone to that were blocked by bushes. And in fact, almost nowhere, except for here. This area is blocked in by bushes, so maybe, maybe taking the knife down here, cutting through these bushes to get to the berries down here, maybe that's the answer. So this is worth trying. I'll circle that. See, this whole area is accessible. That's all accessible. You can walk around to go into here. You can just walk in here. These berries are behind a fence, but I can't get through the fence. Although I haven't really tried to break a fence down. We might be able to just break a fence down. These berries here, also hidden behind bushes, so that could be the potential. I think that's really about it. Everything else is just accessible. So I'm specifically looking for areas I can't get to without using the knife. I think it's just those two. Just nothing in here. Now these are all red plants. These aren't even berry bushes. Tango. Let me try and find this. Let me try and triangulate the position here. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, tree, tree. Uh, bush, bush, bush. Berry, berry, berry. Red. Uh, uh. Found it. <laughs> Holy the fire bam dungeon music were this good. Alright, let's head back over there. I love that music. That game was so much fun. So where am I? Okay, we're above the wastewater treatment facility. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave not- ugh, I can't just leave those there. I'll forget about them. Put those there. We'd use berries to make the moon shine. Uh, go this way. Uh, cut in through here. Thank goodness I made the map map is so incredibly helpful this would be like a lost cause without the map it would be impossible this time well spent okay this is the screen berries okay, 
He's eating them! Homer! He ate all the berries. Homer! I needed those! Homer! He ate the berries! Okay, um... I'm gonna go put the glass down. And now let's see how he interacts with berry bushes. something sharp I could cut. Yep. Where did I put the knife? Is that right over here? It is. I feel like I've tried this before and it didn't work. Knife is dull just like you. The knife is stupid just like you are. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think there's a mysterious in between step to prevent Homer from consuming the berries. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Long playtime. My patience is worn out. Bear with me one moment here. You think it's the toilet seat? to watch this whole thing talk to the old man get two percent don't get keys see the first part of the game is just going around gathering keys everywhere and opening up all the doors get the knife cook the pancakes give the pancakes to the man Get the salami. Get the salami to the man to get the wrench. Go get another key. Go get another key. Go get the hammer. So with hammer and wrench, you can start repairing bridges. to get the third inventory slot. Now he's just repairing bridges. He's got this key. Go into the toilet house. Go get another key. Oh, he's getting the cheese now. Okay. Like, I've done all of this. I'm just making sure there's no step that I missed. Put the cheese on the table. Fix the TV. Bash the bookshelf at the closet to get the papers. Get the cheese for the bribe. Go to the post office. 
Give him the cheese. Give him the papers. Get the money. I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering. Talk to the man with the money. Says go buy some milk. There's the milkman. Says go ahead and open the canister if you want milk. Use the wrench to open it. Now it says I need a container. I'll give you some milk. Go get the bucket. Okay, bucket filled with milk. Talk to the man. The milk is bad. Oh, he says we need frogs. So you go bash a single frog and then go back to the man. And he says, oh, I guess you don't need to bash frogs. Give me a beer instead. Give him a beer. Please open it for me. Okay, use the door to open it. Here's your beer. This milk's bad. Get rid of it, please. So return the milk. Get the money back. Now he's getting the items around the still. He dropped the money there. The still is broken. Now he's going all the way up to the post office? Oh, talk to the man. I need more money. Now he's going over to the post office. This is where murder happens. Oh, drop the knife first! Oh, use the computer. That's right. I use the computer. Send an email to learn how to fix the still. And now go back with the knife. the response, use the wire to clean the still, cut the wire, stab him, shut up, and stab him, he's dead. So now he's got the bloody knife and the wire. Clean it in your own sink, you idiot. He cleaned the knife in his own sink. You can use the wire. So now this is where I'm at. He's ex this is exactly where I'm at. I like his little secret entrance from the south. That's smart. To avoid all the invisible walls, you just cut right through. That's smart. Let's think. What's he doing now? Get the hammer. Now he's bashing the toilet. Got the seat, got the seat, got the seat, got the seat, got that, that seat, seat. Broke the glass. Put the hammer down. Maybe it is meant to be like a lucky horseshoe, even though it looks like a toilet seat. And it is a toilet seat. Maybe it's supposed to be a lucky golden horseshoe. And you have to be holding it in your hand with the glass to get the berry. It could be some arbitrary combination of items like that. Yeah, it does have like the the patterns around the outside as if it were a horseshoe. 
See, this must be where he goes to go get the berry. It is interesting he's going to a very specific bush. It might just be because this bush is so close to the still. Drop the money. He ate a berry. Look, there's the hatch! But he got a berry! Did he say he didn't have an appetite? Okay. <laughs> Yo, Jeff, welcome. Uh, okay, put that, put that down. Go get the glass again. Go grab a horseshoe. I guess holding the horseshoe kills your appetite. I put all the horseshoes over in the bottom left corner. We gotta head back there. Uh, does this path lead through? Let me check my map. Yes. No, this is a completely original video game. 100%. I mean, other than the Homer character, obviously. <laughs> toilet seat, toilet seat, toilet seat, toilet seat. Toilet seat, toilet seat, toilet seat. Okay, now let's head to the... Nearest berry bush. So let's drop the hammer here. Oh, drop the hammer here. Berry! It what you have to hold the freaking toilet seat in your inventory and a glass shard to pick a berry because otherwise he eats them. Did it? <laughs> what? What? Let's take it. Let's make some juice. That's gaming. That's just gaming. I threw in the berry. Okay. Okay. Awesome. You threw the berry in. It might be something like that, drunk by yeah, the thought of the toilet seat kills your appetite I don't I think it's nonsense <laughs> personally I think it's nonsense let's go talk to the old man now that we have put the ingredients in the still where the heck am I okay we're here we're here my items. Well, some of them. Oh, new dialogue! 
He gave me- He's in my inventory! Grandfather, can we make some moonshine? Uh, give me a ride and take me there. <laughs> we got the man! <laughs> uh, Chain, welcome! Thank you for the Prime Gaming. The fresh Prime Gaming sub. Thank you! Welcome to... Homer Simpson in Russia. If you don't believe me, um... Prepare your eyes for flashing. Flashing warning. That's the title screen. This is literally called Homer Simpson in Russia. There it is. For those who missed it at the start of the stream, this is literally Homer Simpson in Russia. <laughs> I'm playing it for five hours. <laughs> okay, we have the man now. I was kind of hoping I'd play the sequel today, but this has turned out to be a lot more long and involved than I was expecting. We'll boot it up and look at it real quickly after finishing this, but it's pretty much the same game as far as I can tell. Well, the same engine, the same style of game, but obviously like a new map and new puzzles. Alright man. Inventory space? <laughs> oh, it's another mystery! Let's go put the glass down. What's Homer's goal? That's a good question, Spike. The game starts and you're just in it. There's literally no story, no setup or anything. You just you're just here. You're just you're just here. Put him to bed? Wait, did he say he was like too drunk or something to move? I'll try that. I need to put the glass down anyway. I mean, we have dynamite, which I still haven't used. He said he's drunk, okay. Maybe some bad milk will sober him up. Bastard, you're drunk. Oh, dude, my camera's all jacked up. I need to clean the lens. Wake up. My... We might need to get the clock now. He didn't wake up. I guess he's snoring like a cow? 
Let's go get the clock. We're almost there. We're almost there. Block. If this game didn't have the rocking music, I don't know if I'd like it nearly as much as I do. <laughs> but the music is doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Clock? What the f- No CMOS. TV? Mr. Gluck, Scheme Man, Vlad, Q Master, Valerie, Gluck rules forever. Dynamite. Dynamite. We need a loud boom explosion to wake him up. hasn't slept long enough? We could check the still. Maybe it's done. Knifey Stabby. We could play Knifey Stabby with him. I hope there's not like a real hardware required puzzle. Because I get the feeling when we pick up the clock it says no CMOS. I get the feeling that the clock here is supposed to read your system's clock and display a time that way. Hmm. The milk- there's the milkman. We killed the other NPC. There's nothing else to do, really. Uh, the person sleeping is just some old man who's kind of been like the driving force of the game. I think we're trying to make moonshine together. But we've gone on a whole bunch of fetch quests for him. We got his pension, we got our pension, and we bought some milk to give to him, and then it, the milk was bad, so we returned the milk and got our money back. He told us to bash some frogs with a hammer, so we went out bashing frogs. We bashed a bunch of frogs, and then we couldn't catch the frogs, they kept sinking, so he said, ah, never mind that, go get me a beer. So we got him a beer, and then we had to open it, but then we spilled part of it, and then we gave him the half beer, and now we want some moonshine. I have a 
have no idea what to do. <laughs> There's only three digits on the clock. I didn't notice that. This does. Okay, this guy uses the berries. He's putting the glass back. He doesn't know you can get the glass from inside the house and outside the house. What a scrub. It might be a stupid toilet seat puzzle again. Yeah, I'm so drunk. Maybe it's money. Maybe money will wake him up. The smell of money. in bed this guy You're right, Cheese Whiz. Just had to talk to everybody again. I, yeah, you know, I probably should have thought of that. But once I turn to a long play, oh, you scammer, go away. I need your help. Are you offended or what? Black Raven doesn't croak for nothing? What? Sir? Come again? The money, 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 money. Yeah, he wants his money. <laughs> Where did I put the money? I hope it's up here. drop this clock. I think the clock is useless. Uh, uh, Black Raven was brought up earlier. That's another Russian-made Spectrum game. It's like an RTS, apparently. Like, Warcraft style. Which is wild that you can get something like that running on the Spectrum. Money! 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 new dialogue this looks new 
Well, for the money, please, I'll help. What do you need? Kicked him out. What? What? Give me the money. Ninety-two percent. We need to celebrate. Let's blow something up. All right, let's go get the dynamite. <laughs> Dynamite, 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 dynamite. Is this guy awake yet? So yeah, maybe we're we're doing an explosion that will wake him up. Walking back and forth. <laughs> Man, Mr. Dynamite. Uh... Oh, we can't talk to him anymore. Nope, we just have to blow something up. Uh, the well. Let's go blow up the well. <laughs> Thank you for the big walkies. The well. Ah, uh, the still. To blow up, we just have to blow up something. Sink. Yeah, Mr. Gluck made the game. Uh, it's a, just a little uh, an Easter egg there. Our TV's broken, so we can repair it, and it displays the people who made the game. It lists them. <laughs> yeah, this message is the well hasn't changed at all. It says there's something in the well. I guess we can try blowing up the still. The wastewater facility? Like, it could be letter literally anything. Although, if our goal is to make moonshine, I feel like maybe that's not smart to just blow it up, but who's to say? Mausoleum, yeah, we could go to the mausoleum.
Can't dynamite that, okay. See, this is why I don't feel bad about resorting to a long play to figure out what to do. Because there's literally no direction and 256 screens. And the solutions have already just been like, hold these arbitrary items in your inventory and then look at this thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> Huh. I'm doing well, Flitcher. Um, I'm doing quite well. I'm having fun playing Homer Simpson in Russia. How are you doing? Sure, yeah, what's your advice? I'll be happy to take it. I don't think we can blow our way into the mausoleum. A manhole cover? I would have never guessed that. I would have never guessed that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I would have never guessed that. There are a lot of them, yeah. Let's go. Oh, the, the South Road, South Road. South Road's closer. Hopefully it's just any one of them, similar to the berry bushes. Just any one that we blow up will progress. Well, let's find out. <laughs> we made a bunch of them, that's true. one right here. Nope. Maybe the one in the top left near where the guy was? Yeah, it's either the one with the guy or one that I made. to make an explosion what do you think you're here what do you want I want to celebrate but there's no one to celebrate with what are you celebrating something happened Let's blow something up, then bring the bomb. Okay, he wants the bomb. We need a detonator. Uh, clock, 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 clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Drop the dynamite, I meant to drop the knife. Uh, the spanner maybe? <laughs> Where can you blow it up? Hide it in the stove for now. What? 97? <laughs> yeah, Omega number. It's been a little bit touch and go at times. But I've tried to clump them near the same area. But I haven't been very good about it. Ah, let's blow up our neighbor's house. Do we have access to his stove? The well, maybe? Go blow up our house. I can't move! Get out, Homer! 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 I think I won. I think we won. What? This is awesome. Uh, this is awesome. 10 out of 10 video game. This is the perfect ending. This is so cool.
<laughs> Is that the loop? No, I think it's still going. The song might be 10 minutes long. So yeah, the, just a recap, we stabbed the guy, we broke all the toilets in the toilet stall, punched down windows, blew up the house, cut down bushes, got an old man drunk, used his pension on milk, made moonshine, we stabbed the guy, oh, you already said that, yeah. We made moonshine, but didn't drink it or do anything with it. We celebrated by blowing ourselves up. What? This was wild. Get hot jams. Okay, let's see what happens if I press the button. Nothing. It's taken over the computer. Thank you for the GG's everybody. This is this was wonderful. This was so much fun. This was really cool. This feels like a, a complete music loop here. I think this is where the song started. <laughs> Thank you for the big The big Pika dance. And <laughs> Marcos. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. I had a lot of fun with this. I had a lot of fun. It's incre it's incredibly absurd. It's not. It doesn't take itself seriously. The puzzles don't make any sense. Some of the time, sometimes they do. It's an interesting world they've concocted here. It's just it's just weird and silly and juvenile <laughs> and fun. I don't mind. I had to look up uh, hints from a long play or got help from chat to solve the puzzles. That's perfectly fine. Like, this wasn't a game that they made to sell for money. This is just a, a, a hobby that they made. It's just a... <laughs> it was entertaining. It was entertaining, and so I can say I think it succeeded pretty well. And look how cool this is. The voice clips are really neat. It was fun making a map. I gotta turn that down because my views are melting. So again, here's the map again. Uh, where did I put it? This is the complete map. It's not perfect. See, I didn't like stitch together the lines perfectly. I just wanted to throw it together really quickly. But this was cool. This was really cool. This was really cool. Invisible walls with the still. The man with his milk that went bad. We pay him for milk, get our money back, and pay him again to tell us to blow something up, I guess? Like, why do we even give him money? Like, what did he help us with in the end? He said we need to celebrate? <laughs> oh, there's the toilets over there that we bashed. Red Square was completely useless. I don't even mind that, like, large chunks of the map, like this area here, it's just empty space. I don't mind that. That's cool. That's fine. Large portions of the map are just completely and utterly empty. Well, that's okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't I can't do anything. We're locked in here. That's that. 
That's Homer Simpson in Russia. We did it. Uh, let's quickly, before I move on, before we before we go, let's just take a quick look at Homer Simpson's two. We're not gonna play it. Let's just take a quick look at Homer Simpson two. Just a quick look. Homer Simpson two. I'm not gonna play this for very long. I just want to show it off real quick. We will. I do want to play this. I also want to try and figure out how to get the Amiga version of Homer Simpson One working because they remade uh, uh, Homer Simpson in Russia for the Amiga, and it's translated into English. It's got new graphics. It has color. Uh, what? Any keys? Start. <laughs> I couldn't get the Amiga version of Homer Simpson Russia working. I don't know what's wrong or what I did wrong or how to make it work. It's it comes like prepackaged .lha, which I tried to put on the workbench, but I couldn't. It just didn't run. I double click it and it just wouldn't run. And that's about where I gave up. <laughs> Homer Simpson 2, back in Russia. Is that the Tracy Ullman sketch? That's like the original Homer. Look at him morph over time. We start the game yeah I, yeah i know lha is like a zip basically it's a compressed format i extracted it onto workbench into a, its own separate drawer and i tried to double click it and it just didn't work and that's when i that's when i stopped trying two percent we just got a playboy oh this is powerful oh man so as you can see though, it's essentially the same game. You got your three inventory slots on the right, you got your percentage counting up. It tells you in the top right what we can see. Message is at the bottom. Now it has a timer, which is interesting. Is that supposed to be playing sound clips? Got a visa. The graphics are totally different, but the engine's still the same. It's still like the same underlying engine. They just probably improved a little things here or there. The font's nice, yeah. Use the card to open the door. got a new song so, so there's a sequel it's there 
We may have to play this sometime soon. So I did have a lot of fun with the first one, but I can tell this is going to take... It's going to take mapping again, it's going to take a lot of Google translating, and full effort will be required to figure this game out as well. Which is fine, I just <laughs> don't have the time for it right now. Awesome. Awesome. Wonderful. What a good time. So much fun was had today. Oh! Thank you for watching. There's Homer. That was Homer Simpson in Russia. What a day. What a stream. Happy 4th of July. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. I can't stream anymore. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the cheers. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the raids. We had big raids. Esports are for losers. Thank you. Ray Robinson, thank you as well for the raid. I had a lot of fun today. This game was so cool. I'm so happy to have played this. We're going to have to play more video games soon. Um, I won't be able to stream for the next couple days because I'm going out of town. Um, I may be back in time to stream Sunday, but I don't know yet. If not, I won't be able to stream again until Tuesday. So it's going to be a couple days before I can stream again. That's okay. A little vacation is good. <laughs> so enjoy. Uh, let me, let's do a raid. Let's get out of here. When you come back, I need to play Ultima again. I've been putting it off. We need to play Ultima 4. But I also want to play Dizzy. And I also want to play more Famicom Disk System games. I also want to play more Spectrum games. I want to, I want to go back to the Amiga. We got to like get into DOS games. And there's like PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games. There's so many games to play. There's so many games to play. There's so many games to play. Let's so have to play more. Just have to keep playing. That's all we can do. Just keep playing. Uh, who's on? Let's do a raid. I gotta go. Oh, we're gonna get... Uh, dude, so everybody, everybody's streaming. Lord Goaty is streaming. He's playing Blades of Vengeance for the Sega Mega Drive. Or I'll send you over to Goaty. Goaty's a very fun streamer. Uh, you may want to pay attention to the Goaty channel in the near future for a big marathon event that he is working on. Big things happening at the Goaty stream. I'll send you guys over there. I don't know if he's made any official announcements yet, so I don't want to spoil, but big things are happening. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Enjoy. Take care. See ya. Farewell. Adios. Bye-bye.